Hey gang, welcome back to the 30 and 30 here on Our Wyoming Life. My name is Mike and it is a big morning here on the ranch, a great morning because we have three new calves that we're gonna get out and take care of. Number 11, number 12, and lucky number 13. This is the 18th video of the 30 and 30. Please don't die on me. Oh. Hey, is there any chance I can get some help? I can't believe we're already up to number 18. Lots of cool stuff still on the way. Make sure you subscribe and follow along as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. We've got farm work coming up, lots of cleanup. The weather is straightening out, and of course, a lot more calves still on the way. With the smaller herd size that we've got, we've got a lot more time to uh, spend more time with each and every calf that is born, and I think that's really important. It's helpful for me to reconnect me uh, with the herd and what we do, and hopefully helpful to you as well. Like I said in the intro, we've got three new calves to take care of here on the ranch. One of them actually arrived yesterday. And she wasn't even born here, but it's time for her to become a part of our ranch with our special purple tag that was actually chosen by you guys during a live stream. Uh, she will become number 11, and she is our bottle calf, our heifer, that came from up north of town and uh, is a new member to the herd. Her name is Bella, and she's already had breakfast this morning, so she's just kind of relaxing and hanging out. Not a bad deal at all. How are you? She was actually born uh, late uh, on the 11th or early on the 12th. We're not exactly sure. So, um, But she does have this ear tag in her, which is not one of our tags. So we're going to actually cut this tag out if we can. There we go. It's gone. Look at that. We got rid of that tag. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Now it's time to put in your new tag, making you number 11. Let's see if I can find that hole in your ear. I know it probably hurts a little bit, huh? There we go. Oh, hold on. There we go. Oh, you got it, though. Now you're number 11. Now you're number 11. Yes, you are. Bella. <laughs> it's a rough morning, isn't it? Are you hungry? No. Don't pet your nose, though. Give you little scratches. It's not such a bad life, is it? There she is. Bella, the new number 11. She's an orphan, which makes all of us her mom. Not a half bad job. Now we're off to find number 12. Luckily, the calf is not too far away. It's a baby bull and was born to one of our heifers this morning about three o'clock. Jeff was out doing checks and found them together. Which is great news. The calf was born without any trouble. We, as you know, if you've been following along, our uh, heifers have been calving not well. Uh, we've had a few issues with some really big calves. And so for us to not have to uh, assist with this birth was, was amazing. It's only the second birth in the heifers that we haven't had to assist with. When Jeff found the calf this morning, uh, he did all the things, gave it the OGH paste, sprayed the umbilical cord, but he did not get the, t the calf tagged. So we're gonna head out and assign number 12 to this little bull that came from heifer mom number 46. We'll spend a good chunk of our day keeping an eye on these guys. Making sure that everybody's healthy and okay. Hey, <laughs> stop, it's flailing around. Assign number 12, and off they go. Mother and son. And a good mom, too. But these two are not the big story here on the ranch this morning. The big story comes not from the heifers, 
and not from the cows. It's actually from across the road in the feedlot. <laughs> this is number 45. 45 was in the feedlot and she got a reprieve because we thought she was probably pregnant. Um, she was starting to bag up and we figured that when we preg checked, the vet actually might have missed her. And this year, because it is so important to have animals in the feedlot, we decided to move any empty heifers that we had into the feedlot system and uh, send them on down the road to uh, butcher and processing and eventually packaging and then be able to be sell, sold online and in long, on, the farm, on the farm store. <sighs> Can't even talk this morning. So, <laughs> so excited. Uh, so we had number 45 who we pulled out in a previous video, but there was another heifer in the feedlot. You can see her right here and we went right by her. Now, if you notice, Mom, you can kind of still see the white line across her backside. That's actually given to her when we preg check. If she's empty, that's a mark that we can tell that she's empty and we'll be able to see that line. Now, number 45, we couldn't really see it. So we were like, okay, we must have mismarked her or we, we didn't write her down correctly or anything like that. The line across number 53's backside tells us that she was definitely marked as open or not pregnant, which was obviously very, very, very wrong. We're joined by Jeff this morning who found uh, little number 12 and mom 46. Anything interesting about uh, finding those guys at three o'clock in the morning? No, well, it was pretty dark. That was interesting. <laughs> yeah. I almost didn't see the, the little one. Right. His mom was laying down right next to her, mm -hmm. it, it to him, right? Um, so once she got up, oh, I, there's a calf. There's a calf there, amazing. And she one was- cow, One cow becomes two. Yeah. And she was really good at doing her thing. She, yeah, yeah, she she uh, kept an eye on us as we went over and tagged the calf, and she was uh, not aggressive, but she was definitely watching what we're doing and, and making sure that everything was okay. So uh, another surprise, like I said, over here at the feedlot, this will actually become lucky calf number 13. Now, we don't even know if it's a boy or a girl, but it, it is a cute little uh, uh, bronco-faced cow. Came out of number 53, and it looks like he or she is up and moving around. Uh, Jeff and I are going to try to snag this calf out of the uh, uh, B-team pen. And there's our calf running around like a goofball. Mom is up here, and our hope is that we can grab this calf and get it over the fence, but, oh no, mom's right there. 52 is the mom. I think I thought it was 53. So we're going to try to grab this calf out of here. This calf is extremely mobile, and mom is not very happy about it. I wonder... I wore the wrong boots for this. I was this. just thinking that same thing. Um, I might need to get some muck boots. Yeah, on. I'm gonna have to go put on muck boots. There they are. That's not a bad place for them to be. Yeah. Uh, Unless she gets real cantankerous and we're kind of- Cantankerous? Yeah. Then we're kind of trapped. Yeah. This might be tricky. Could be. We'll figure it out. How deep is it? Oh, oh it's deep. yeah, that worked. <laughs> oh, bummer. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Uh, it just keeps getting deeper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, I'll wait here for you. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Well, let's be careful of her. I just don't want to get run over. Yeah. Hi, Mama. Luckily, you're a luckily you're a heifer and kind of an idiot. All right. Okay. You're okay, Mama. Hey, the boy. You're okay. 
you're gonna be a squirrely little crap, aren't you? Huh. Well, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, let's, uh... oh, wait a minute, she's leaving. Okay, I don't know how we're gonna do this, Jeff. Very Will carefully. he fit through the bars? No, I don't no. think so. Okay. Right. You got him? Super heavy. I got you. All right, now how are you gonna get down? You're doing great. Look at you go. Here comes mom. You okay? Yep. All right, I'm gonna come out. We'll be right back, mom. <laughs> All right. Just jump in the passenger side with him. You gonna make it? Get it, I did. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> All right, you're a little dirty. Good job, Jeff. All right, we're gonna get him across the road where, you know, calves and cows should be and not in the feedlot. All right? Yeah. Just like it's too early for this work thing. I'm not as runs as I young was. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Let's not do that again. Okay, let's not do that again. He's, lifting. He's a good 90 pounds. No more climbing fences for Jeff. Come on. All right, you want me to carry him? Come on. Come on. You want me to carry him in? He might walk. Oh. oh. You can do it. We just saw you running around. Yeah. Come on. There you go, good boy. Take it right. All right, this is where we're gonna keep him. Okay. All right, I gotta go grab the calf bucket and my tags and stuff out of here. All right, I'll go get the trailer hooked up. Okay. We're now in what we used to call the birthing corral, but everything's kind of switched around here lately. This cow is actually um, the cow that lost her calf. She's the cow that didn't have any milk, but we kept her in. Um, we realized she doesn't really have very good teeth, so we've got her in so that we can give her some food and make sure that she's eating. So we're holding her in these corrals, but she's really interested in this calf that we need to get tagged, we need to give it OGH paste, and we also need to uh, spray the umbilical cord a little bit because it was born in the feedlot. Uh, and that's one of the main reasons we wanted to get it out of there, not only because it's not supposed to be in the feedlot, but because it is so muddy and mucky over there, we definitely don't want a calf laying around or, or, or getting dirty in that junk. So luckily the calf is, is pretty clean, so we know it hasn't gotten too dirty, um, but we do need to work on this calf a little bit, which might be a little rodeo. Let's see what we got here. We got some OGH paste for you. I'm gonna give you that, get your gut health up to where it's supposed to be. We got our tag, and we've got iodine. All right, let's see if I can catch you. You're okay. Hey, stop. No, stop it. Oh, my iodine's all clogged up. Wonderful thing about iodine. Get this umbilical cord cleaned up. Hey, stop it. All right, bud, we're all done. Yeah, sorry. I know that was rough. You're good. Whew, that was fun. And now we've got lucky number 13 here on the ranch. And his mom, who's extremely lucky as well. We're gonna leave him alone for just a little while here. 
because we got to go get his mom and rejoin them back together. One thing I want to do, one thing I want to do here really quick before we leave is get this cow away from that calf on the fence line so that she doesn't try to interfere with what's going to happen over here with her, with him and her mom, him and his mom. So keep her away. Go get mom for number 13. 52 is her number. Sometimes I feel like I'm playing Keno. <laughs> out here with all these numbers flying around now we add in the 30 and 30 and number 18 and it's like number after number after number eventually though we'll get them all filled in we all ready to go jeff yeah 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 hey is keno like bingo yeah Kind of. Kind of like bingo, do you get a line across and that's how you win yeah, or how do you not, win? Not in line, just as, just the proper numbers. Oh, they put up numbers. I think I, I vaguely remember. I don't <laughs> gamble much, so. Yeah. No, there's like 150 numbers and you have to get 12 or 15, something like that. And they're just All random. All over the place, random just numbers. Random. Like the lotto. Yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. Are we going gambling? No, I was I was talking about the numbers, and you know we've got number oh. fifteen and number forty two and number eighty six and number ninety three, <laughs> and I felt like a, like a like a Keno caller. Keno caller. But then I realized I don't know how Keno works. Just like that. There we go. Let's go get a cow. Number fifty two. If anybody's keeping track. It's a little worrisome that you think I know how Keno works. <laughs> Am I a gambler? You spend a lot more time in casinos than I do. <laughs> trust me. True. <laughs> So I'm calling this little one Lucky 13. Uh, not so much for him, but he saved his mom's life. So <laughs> that's true. His mom now gets to stay on the ranch for the rest of hers as long as she keeps on getting pregnant. So the unfortunate part of it is that now we're short another cow on the B team. So and B team is our late summer meat inventory. Yeah. So yeah, we're kind of. We're not doing good here. <laughs> All right, go ahead and open up these two gates and we'll put the A team in here. And we open this gate. This <laughs> Hopefully, all this mud and muck. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh my gosh, it's horrible. Come on. Go. Come on. Follow your friends. Peer pressure. Hey, no. Come on. Get in there. You guys just wait. Up there. All right. Now we got to get number 52 over here. Everybody else, not. So you can still see the line across her back. She's coming right here, Jeff. Nope. Go out the door. We got her sorted. Now let's run her over, get that gate closed, and get her on the trailer. Well, that was rather easy. <laughs> Sometimes we almost make it look like we know what we're doing. Almost. <laughs> that was actually in real time. No editing involved. No CGI, no green screen. <laughs> Super easy. You'd be surprised how many times people tell me that uh, I'm using a green screen for some of this stuff. Like, I have that kind of money yeah. and time. There we go. Good girl. Here, you want to take the camera and chase her up, or you want me? Oh, I got it. I'll chase her up. I'll just follow her right up into the trailer. Come on, Mama. Come on. Get up there. Come on. Jump. 
Big jump. Big jump. Oh, yeah, look at you. This is the, uh, been a pretty good start to a day. You think? Yeah. Bonus calf. Ease of loading. Bonus calf is good. That's one we're, I didn't think of that, but we weren't expecting her. So, for him. So that's good. Of course, we lose a feedlot cow, but that's, uh, we gained one. Yeah. We lost one, we gained one. We might get lucky and find a 900 pounder in the C team. Maybe. Maybe. We can look, see what we got in there. Might be worth going through one of these days, see what we can figure out. Maybe that number four that keeps on jumping fences. <laughs> He's about ready to go in. All right, you ready? Come on, Mom. Head on down. Come on. Come on, Mama. Oh, there's your baby. There you go. Good girl. Come on, Mama. Mama. Hey. Over here. This way. Hey. Come on. No, keep going. No, go down that way. Good girl. Whoa. Got really excited there. Mom and baby reunited. Three calves tagged on the ranch this morning, plus a bonus calf, lucky number 13. So, Jeff, thank you very much for all your hard work. Uh, my pleasure. I do appreciate it. Getting up at three o'clock in the morning sucks. <laughs> but Carrie actually stayed out here last night and I got to sleep in for the first time in like a month. Yeah. I looked at the clock and it was 6.40 and I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> the world's coming to an end. Either that or I, you know, got drunk and passed out. That didn't happen, trust me. No. So. We're gonna leave these guys alone for the day. We'll be, of course, uh, able to update you throughout the 30 and 30 on what's going on with all the calves on the ranch, with all the projects, all the equipment that we're gonna be working with over the next few weeks. And of course, the 24 hour live stream is coming up at the end. We've got some really cool giveaways during the 24 hour live stream, uh, including some beef and pork. I've got some uh, night vision goggles to give away. I've got all Very kinds cool. of cool stuff to give away during the 24 hour live stream. And, we follow that up with our wrap party, which is exclusive for Patreons. Uh, so make sure you go and join Patreon. It's just a dollar a month and you can support the ranch uh, even more. So thank you very much for hanging out with us on the 30 and 30. And we'll see you next time on our Wyoming Life. Say bye, Jeff. Bye, Jeff. <laughs>